I'm Aaron Moss, and I'm a senior research scientist at Cloud Research, and I'm joined by Israel Rabinowitz, who is a project manager. And today we're excited to share with you the new and improved process of creating the study on Cloud Research's MTurk toolkit, along with some improvements that we've made to the look and the feel of our da uh, project dashboard. So I'm going to give you a brief overview of Cloud Research and our MTurk toolkit, and then I'm going to turn it over to Israel who's gonna walk through the toolkit, highlighting some of the updates we've made and showing you how to set up and launch a study. So at Cloud Research, we have two different options that give researchers access to online participants. First, we have our MTurk toolkit, which is really a suite of tools that improves the usability and the data quality um, when researchers recruit workers from Mechanical Turk's platform. Second, we have our Prime Panels platform, which aggregates hundreds of market research panels. So while Mechanical Turk offers access to about 100,000 people within the US each year, our Prime Panels platform offers access to over 50 million people in 60 countries worldwide. So we're really talking about a difference in scale that's exponential. The large size and reach of the Prime Panels platform allows you to target people from specific demographic groups or to use quotas to gather a sample that's matched to the US Census, all with just a click of a button. And one thing that sets both uh, the Mechanical Turk Toolkit and our Prime Panels platform apart from what other sample providers may offer is our leading solutions for maintaining data quality. Um, but in short, uh, and really focused on the topic of today's demonstration, there's been a quality, uh, there's been a problem with data quality on Mechanical Turk really dating back to 2018. And our data quality tools uh, have helped countless researchers recruit only high quality participants from MTurk. We offer uh, data collection from a group of Cloud Research approved participants, which is a subset of about 50,000 workers on Mechanical Turk that we vetted and that we know provide high quality data. And that means that these people are attentive, they're engaged, and they're trustworthy. We've vetted about 85% of the active Mechanical Turk population, and we only approve participants who pass a series of data validation checks. We recently have put up a number of um, papers that describe details about our process and what some of these checks look like. So before diving into what uh, the toolkit looks like, let me give you a brief overview of Mechanical Turk. Mechanical Turk um, is owned and maintained by Amazon, and the platform began in 2005 as a micro task platform where workers could complete all kinds of small tasks for any requester who posted to the site. In 2010, academic researchers really began co-opting the platform as a place to run behavioral science studies. Now, this background is important because uh, Mechanical Turk wasn't really built for academic researchers. It didn't have the features or the capabilities that behavioral scientists might need to make the most out of the platform as a place for online research. And that's where cloud research comes in. So we really built a suite of tools that um, helps uh, make Mechanical Turk a platform that's much more user-friendly for behavioral scientists running online studies. When you create a Cloud Research account, one of the first things that you need to do is link that account to an MTurk requester account. Once your accounts are linked, you can then set up and manage MTurk studies directly from the Cloud Research user interface. Cloud Research um, makes this possible by tapping into Mechanical Turk's Application Programming Phase, or API, and this offers the ability to set up studies um, on the Cloud Research user interface, along with all the advanced features and functions that are not available directly on Mechanical Turk. So over the years, Cloud Research has created uh, specific tools um, as different needs have ar arisen in the research community. And we're going to take a look uh, at the recently redesigned toolkit. To date, our uh, MTurk toolkit is a suite of tools that includes options for things like managing data quality, um, deciding who's eligible or ineligible for a study, and the ability to target participants based on previously profiled demographic features. So here's where I'm gonna turn it over to Israel, who's going to show us what the new dashboard and create a study pages look like. Thank you, Aaron. Hi, I'm Israel. Thank you for all, all those who are joining us today. So let's begin by looking at our old dashboard. Some of you may be familiar with this old dashboard. As Aaron had mentioned, as specific research needs came up, we developed different features. And these features we had placed on the dashboard. 
but this had kind of caused the dashboard to become a little overpopulated. So we redesigned this dashboard to highlight some important information and allow users to maintain, launch, and run their studies in a more easy way. Let's take a look at our new dashboard. This is our current new dashboard. As you can see, we've highlighted some of the main features of the study, such as your title, which data quality features you're using, the demographic targeting, and cost, as well as participant completion and status of your study. To highlight the cost for a minute, as you can tell, the Amazon cost is going to take up a bulk of your study, cost. This is used to pay workers and to pay the Amazon fee. On the cloud research end, we charge a blanket 10% fee to use our cloud research setup page. This is actually in addition to some specific demographic targeting, but generally, if you're running a GenPOP study, you'll only be charged the 10%. You can also open the study page up, the dashboard up into the fuller view. This fuller view will give you some more in-depth details about your study, such as how many participants have been approved, how many active participants you have, as well as some information about the time, such as the average time it took workers or the median time it took workers to take your study. As well, there are some other options to take actions for your study, such as granting workers a bonus, copying your study, or other downloads that you can get information about your study right here. This concludes our look at our new dashboard. Let's take a look now at our old toolkit. This is our old toolkit. Our old toolkit really offered a lot of flexibility in how to set up and run a study. So whenever a researcher would come to us with a specific problem, we would create a solution for it. And that solution got placed in our toolkit. But the downside with that is that over time, our toolkit became a little clunky and overpopulated with lots of different features. So what we've done with our new toolkit is really organize the different features as well as streamlining this. So it's a very simple and straightforward process. Let's take a look now at our new designed toolkit. I'm just gonna load this page, reload this page quickly as it's still in beta. All right, our tab one, we have our basic information. And our basic information, we're gonna set our internal information. So these are things that you know are specific to your study that are only visible on the cloud research end, such as the project name and email address that if you wanna get notifications. As well, you can input the URL to your survey, which is what users will access directly to find your survey. Additionally, you can also capture participants' IDs very easily from the URL. This is a feature that we made available so that you don't have to ask each worker for their ID, but instead you can auto capture that information directly from the URL. In tab two, we have some specific information that MTurk asks that workers will see on their end. So the title of your survey, some description. If you, if you have an advanced survey, maybe some custom instructions for workers. Again, these are things that workers will see on the MTurk side. Tab three is our setup and payment. This is where we're going to set the specific compensation for workers, as well as letting them know how long you expect it to take, or how long your survey, you expect your survey to take. Additionally, we have a feature here that will reduce the MTurk fee from 40 to 20%. And this is done by batching. So batching is just on the back end, we're going to send your survey out in short bursts instead of in one shot. And what this does is it will re reduce that fee from 40 to 20%, like I mentioned. Our next tab is our demographic information tab. So the first thing you can do here is set your end size. So let's say I'll set my sample size for 100 participants. What I can also do is target specific demographics. As you can see, we have many different categories. So say I want a general demographic and target uh, by age or gender, by occupation, by political affiliation. So say I wanna target Republicans. If I go over here to the right side, we have a dynamic calculator that will calculate the panel fee for targeting 100 Republicans, and that's 42 cents per worker. These, using these demographic options, you're relying on us. We pre-profile these workers, and we make sure that these demographics are reliable and something that you can trust when you're targeting a specific population. 
Our next tab is our data quality tab. So this is something that Aaron touched upon in the beginning, which was that we've been running this initiative for the whole of 2020. And we've been looking and grouping workers that are trustworthy, that pass security checks, that pass attention measures into our approved participant group. And this is our recommended and default setting to target workers on MTurk. Again, this is a group of MTurk workers, over 50,000 workers, that we recommend using to get high quality data. Our next tab is tab six, how workers are approved. So on MTurk, workers are gonna need, to, gonna need to submit a code at the end of your survey to indicate that they've completed your study. So this page just simplifies this and, and asks you to select a specific type of code to use. Our final tab is tab seven, worker requirements. This is a really important tab for setting criteria for your study. The first thing you can do is set include criteria. So if you've targeted workers a month ago and you'd like to run a longitudinal study and target them again, you can select your T1, your first survey, and it will target all of those workers. Additionally, if you're running a second iteration, or if you wanna exclude a subsample of workers, you can do that very easily right here. This streamlines that process and makes it very easy to not have to keep track of specific worker IDs, but just be able to select past studies to include or exclude. As well, you can add some MTurk worker qualifications. So these are qualifications that MTurk manages, such as the hit approval rating or number of hits taken, number of hits approved. And these are MTurk specific qualifications that you can add as well. This concludes our overview of, the, of our new MTurk toolkit. Please make sure to find some of our resources like our blog or knowledge base for frequently, frequently asked questions. Thank you so much for joining us today.